Welcome back friends. So I was doing some thinking about overlanding and what part of my vehicle was lacking, what I really need to look at. And I'll tell you what, there's one spot that's always failed for me and that's organization. I've always had a problem with it. I'll start out with the, with the trip really organized and really nice and no matter what I do, it becomes a huge pile. I mean, it's worse than a teenager's room. It really is. Like, it's just ridiculous in the back of that thing. And it's completely unorganized. However, that all changed with the trip to Coyote Flats. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and take a look. I'll throw a card up there. Um, it's, it's a pretty awesome trip. We had a really good time and some crazy things happened. But before that trip, out of desperation, I said, we're not gonna be unorganized anymore. And I ran down to Walmart real quick and I bought something. I brought it back and threw it in there and it ended up being the best thing I ever did. So much so that we're gonna keep it in there until I build something new. So let's go outside, let's take a look at it, and then um, you can let me know what you think and if you would use one. So let's take a look. All right, so here it is. This is my ingenious storage solution. It's a $12 set of drawers from Walmart. I'll throw a link below so you can take a look at it if you want. But uh, honestly, it's it's been amazing and really, all we needed is we needed something just to organize some stuff. We didn't need anything crazy, didn't have to go out and build something heavy and nuts. We weren't trying to carry more gear, we were just trying to organize what we had. And this seems to have done the trick. It was very helpful on the last trip and we're excited to actually go overlanding once more because the inside of the vehicle is not so trashed. And actually it stayed organized the entire time and that's the key. We know it worked because it stayed organized. Everything we put in, everywhere we put it, stayed in the exact same spot. We took it out, we put it right back. It was phenomenal. Let me get you in here closer so you can see what's going on and see how you would do one of these. Okay, so as I mentioned, this thing is like $12 from Walmart and here's the modifications that I did. I put a bolt up top here, literally just a bolt, screwed it right through. I used two nuts on either side to make sure it doesn't come undone. And then what I did, and then what I did, is I used this kind of bungee cord only because I had it on hand. These are just, they're like bungee wraps, really, with a little knob on the end. You could use anything. I used a little bit of paracord, again, just something I had on hand to make that bungee cord long enough. And then I put a hole here. I made a knot going around the hole so that uh, I try not to rip through it. This isn't, this isn't super tight. It's just taut enough that if a drawer comes out, it kind of holds it in. That's all it needs to do. So we'll go from top to bottom. I'll show you kind of what we have in here, how we have these organized. So this top one is our plates and bowls and bags and our paper towels and some extra toilet paper and baby wipes and stuff like that. Kind of a mixture of like, uh, just paper products really, I guess is what we keep up there. We also keep a spare lighter in there just in case. Uh, this is typically food. So not all the food, but things like uh, bread and chips and we'll put canned food in here to help fill the space up so things aren't running around. Uh, my wife really likes her wine, so we have a little wine cup in here for her because she likes that. Um, and that's pretty much that drawer, and that's actually really helpful. Honestly, one of the biggest problems was where do we put the dry food? We fill the fridge up, but where do you put the dry food so that's not crushed and rolling around? That one drawer right there has made a huge difference. And then this one has made probably the second largest difference in our organization. This is kind of all of our cooking stuff now. Our utensils go down here to cook. The, um, the oil that we need, whatever vegetable oil we are using at the time, tin foil, our coffee pot, and our stove actually fits in here. And the reason it does is because we use a single burner stove. It goes right in there, the fuel in the stove, stays in the stove, all in here, easy to go. You pull it out and use it, and then when you're done, shove it back in, you pull this little bungee cord up, and that's it. And it stays like that, and it rides like that. We drove all over Coyote Flats. We went up the, uh, the hard way, from Bishop, or uh, Big Pine, up into Coyote Flats, and then we came down Coyote Flats into Bishop. So we went both ways, and it didn't move. It's set exactly like here, just like this. So the only thing I would do is I need to find a way to actually tie this down so that it can't come up. But honestly, once the water tank is full, and the way it kind of nestles in here, I'm kind of lucky this is like curved, and you can't actually really pull this out when it's full of water. So it kind of wedges themselves together in here and makes it so it can't really come out. And then it's cool because we have a nice little spot here and so um, my camera gear goes right there. It makes it really nice and convenient and we like it and honestly our Jeep has never been more organized ever in our lives. I'm planning on looking at this and maybe doing uh, a build where we can utilize this more. Maybe do a platform on top right over here 
to get a little bit more storage space just to organize things. And uh, I think that would be cool. But yeah, this has been awesome. If you're struggling with storage like I am, take a look at one of these, see if it'll work. Again, we don't have a ton of weight in it and it's held up just fine. All right, there you have it. So my cheap, easy, and very practical solution to a very interesting problem, just organizing the stuff inside the vehicle that just, it needs a spot and I had no spot. Honestly, I looked all over the internet for like ways to build your own drawer systems and people's different ideas on how they built theirs and other rigs, right? Because TJs are not a very common overlanding rig. So I had to pull in all these different ideas and um, I'm still going to build my own. Just the one thing I looked at is, I mean, building material right now is a little expensive in this, as the filming of this video. But the other thing is that I'm looking at the weight and keeping the weight down in the back of a TJ is very important to me. I just don't want to add unnecessary weight. And so trying to figure out how to build something back there that's practical, not very heavy, um, but somewhat durable. And surprisingly enough, those drawers actually seem quite durable. They've held up just fine and they don't show any signs of wear and tear. They eventually will break down, but um, it's nothing to go get another set. And I do want to build my own, like I said. I just, uh, honestly, those drawers are about perfect. Just, I wish they were deeper. Just went further back into the vehicle. So we got a little more length on the drawer. That's really all we need and that'd be perfect. Maybe some sort of platform on top just to kind of set different things on. But it actually works fantastic for our use. And we're gonna keep that in there for a while until I can design something a little bit different. So let me know in the comments what you think below about my cheap and easy fix and organizing and if it's something you would use. And also know that uh, there are multiple sizes of these drawers, right? I mean, everyone has seen them at stores before, but I chose the narrow size because it just works well for our vehicle and how we like to basically camp out of the back of it. If you had a wider vehicle or in that spot, if I didn't have that water tank, if I had moved that water jug somewhere else, then I actually could get the wider version of those drawers and probably fit it in there, which would be pretty cool. I might have to look at doing that actually just to see as a test. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hit the comments below. Let me know what you think about that system and if it's something you would use and maybe you have a better idea. Maybe there's someone that makes something very similar to that that's actually pretty affordable but more durable uh, with a little bit different dimensions. Let me know in the comments what you think and what your organizing solutions are because I'm very curious on how you guys organize the back of your rigs, especially when it comes to the stuff I mentioned, your paper products or your dishes and your, your dry food storage, I think is the hardest one that I've come across. Um, it's really hard to figure out a place to put that because it's not always in your rig. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are what makes this channel possible and I'm really enjoying doing this kind of stuff and we have some pretty awesome trips coming up and some very new things going on the Jeep pretty soon here. So you can look at that. I'll do a whole video on all that stuff so you can see what's changing because uh, there are some things on the Jeep that need to change. So with that guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.